Hello, my friend. Doc Martin here. Well, we're finally on step seven of the seven step process. Monitor and troubleshoot. You've been working on developing a new habit and hopefully you've completed the first six steps. You clarified your values, identified your goals, boosted your motivation, found a good prompt or trigger and rewarded yourself immediately and intensely. So that leads us to the last step, which consists of two parts, to monitor and to troubleshoot. Let's start with monitoring. One way to monitor your habit is to measure your progress with a habit tracker. The simplest and the most basic way to do this is to have a calendar and just cross off each day that you do your habit. Benjamin Franklin carried a small booklet and he kept track of his 14 personal virtues every day he would check them off whether he did them or not. Now habit tracking is powerful for three reasons. It creates a visual cue that reminds you to act. It's motivating to see the progress you're making. You don't want to break your streak. And it feels satisfying to record your success in the moment. But before I go into that, if you like what you've seen, please hit the like button and also subscribe one too. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Benefit one, a habit tracker reminds you to act. People who track their progress on goals like losing weight, quitting smoking, exercising more, eating healthier, are more likely to improve than those who don't. A habit tracker is a simple way to log your behavior. Measurement offers a way to overcome our blindness to our own behavior. Notice what's really going on each day. Benefit two, a habit tracker motivates you to continue. The most effective form of motivation is progress. When you get a signal that you're moving forward, you become more motivated to continue down that path. In some ways, habit tracking can be just as addictive as doing the habit itself. This can be really particularly powerful when you're having a bad day. When you're feeling down, it's easy to forget about all the progress you've been made. Habit tracking provides proof, visual proof of your hard work, a reminder of how far you've come. The third benefit is that a habit tracker provides immediate satisfaction. Tracking feels rewarding. It's satisfying to cross an item off your to-do list. It feels good to watch your results grow. And if it feels good, you're more likely to endure. Now, how do you get in the habit of using your habit tracker? Some people think it's a burden. Now you're forced into tracking two habits, the habit you're trying to build and the habit of tracking it. So what can we do to make habit tracking easier? First, habit tracking should be limited to your most important habits. Start with three of the most important ones. It's better to consistently track three habits than to try and track 10. Keep your habit tracker simple and limited in the beginning to three of the most important ones. Second, record each measurement immediately after it occurs. The completion of the habit is the cue to write it down. This goes back to what we talked about earlier called inflammation and tension, and it's the same basic formula. After current habit, I will track my habit. Okay, after I exercise, I will mark the exercise box. After I finish meditating, I will fill in meditate for one minute box. After I study Chinese, I will check the study Chinese box. Now, you can automate the habit tracking process and there are literally hundreds of habit trackers online that you can use. I have a favorite one and it's called Mini Habits that I downloaded from the Apple App Store for free, but there are many others. Uh, just type in Habit Tracker and find the one that meets your needs. Remember, just keep it simple. You don't need a complicated one. Just keep track of a few habits at their most basic level. You may do more than that, but just track the minimum number that you do. Many days I do more than 
than what I have down on my habit tracker, but I just track the minimum number. For example, here are the six habits I track. Every morning, do the three-step strength routine, play the guitar for five minutes, study Chinese for five minutes, take two 50-minute walks, exercise my brain using Brain HQ, which is a paid cognitive enhancement program that I downloaded, and do my set of eight Qigong moves. And these are spread throughout the day. Now, I've expanded many of these habits but I only track the basic strip down ones on my list. For example, around 4.30 every day, I do my eight-step Qigong exercise. Now, now I also do a seven-step Tai Chi. I do a handheld barbells uh, strength training, and I do use a stair stepper. And that's the complete package that I do, and it only takes me 10 to 15 minutes to do the whole thing. But I only mark do the eight-step Qigong moves. And why? Because some days my motivation is way, way down. Next, yesterday was a good example. I came in, it was 4.30, 4.40, and I said, oh, I haven't done my eight-step Qigong. And I did just the eight-step Qigong moves, which took less than two minutes. And I didn't do any of the others. And I still marked it down that I did it. So some days I will do expansive, and some days it'll, it'll be contracted, but I just track whether I did the basic one or not. Now the next step is to troubleshoot, and I use a, recommend you use a four-step troubleshooting process and try each step in order. First of all, check to see, is there a trigger to do the behavior? You know, is it strong enough? Maybe you, you need to put some more reminders on it, make it a bigger trigger. Then can you do the routine? Is it too difficult? Can you simplify it? Is your consequence a strong emotional reaction? Are you really celebrating your success? Or are you doing it immediately and intensely? and then see if you have the desire, that is, am I motivated to do the behavior? Now, notice that fussing around with motivation is the last step in the troubleshooting order. In many cases, you'll find your lack of doing the behavior is not a motivation issue at all. You can usually solve for the behavior by finding a good prompt or by making the behavior easier to do. So here's some examples of specific problems. I forgot. Go back to step four and rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. You know, uh, as soon as you get up in the morning, you might want to do a, a yoga habit or something and you keep forgetting, get back in bed, sit down, I'm going to do it, step up and sit down, I'm going to do it, rehearse it. Another one is it's too difficult. Well, maybe it's too big of a chunk of behavior. Start smaller, make it easier to do. I keep forgetting. Well, go back to step three, find a different trigger for your habit, anchor your habit, find a good prompt. I finally, I don't want to do this new habit. Well, go back to step two and pick a new habit for your list. Maybe this is not the habit that you want to do. Once you've developed your three habits, you can expand them later into larger chunks of behavior or add new behaviors to the list. But that's probably a separate video that I will be posting at a future date. My question of the day is twofold. Have you set up a system to monitor your new habits? It can be paper and pencil, a wall chart, or an app that you downloaded. And secondly, are you having trouble with a particular new habit? If so, use the troubleshooting guide we just went over. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you find some of what I just talked about interesting and informative. There's a lot more to come that I think you'll like. If so, hit the like and subscribe button below and turn on that little bell next to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future topics. I think you'll really love them. And don't forget, take a look at my Healthy Eating and Lifestyle Help program for support providers at my online Healthy Lifestyle Learning Academy. The link is below. It uses the small step approach. Well, again, thanks for watching and please leave any comments you might have below or suggestions that you'd like to see topics that might be covered. I'd really appreciate that. So until we meet again, just keep on trucking.